This is chapter 9, first example. And what we have here is an equation for F. Uh, it's given in SOP form, and our mission is to convert it to POS form. Now, it's tempting to try to manipulate this equation using De Morgan's theorem, other theorems, to try to get it in, into a POS form, but that's not the right approach. The easiest approach is to notice that this is standard SOP form, uh, that being the case, it's easy to figure out the missing terms for POS form and then to organize it from there. So what we're going to do here is notice that, write the equivalent for these values here. So this is this looks like a 001, which is a 1. This is a 0010, which is a 2. This is a 100, which is a 4. This is a 101, which is a 5. That's a 111, which is a 7. If we convert this real quickly to compact min term form, compact max term form is therefore going to be 0, 3, 6. And so this is going to allow us to write this equation out such as this. We'll switch over here. F bar, now this is F bar. This is 0. This is 3, 0, 1, 1, and 6 is 1, 1, 0. So here's an equation. It is in SOP form, but it's an equation for F. What we want is an equation for F and POS. So what we're going to do is deborganize both sides. When we deborganize both sides, we preserve the equality, and the double up over bar comes down as an F. Now every time I see an over bar up there, that over bar is going to go away. If I see no over bar, it's going to come down. And there is my final equation. It is in POS form as requested.